Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Empyrean. So, last time we did pretty damn good. Uh, we did all of chapter 1 with the new uh, chapter system, which is kind of cool. Uh, survival base. Today we're going to do build a base. And um, basically it would like us to build our first base platform here. So, here it is. I'll go in the queue. It might take a little while to build, to be honest. Oh, there it goes. Be exciting to see how that goes. Oh, look at this ugly little creature over here. Hello. Ow. Oh, he's friendly. He's wet and he's got a big eyeball. I really should start eating some med kits or something. Kinda gets expensive though. Um, yeah, we have one more, and it's good for bleeding, to be honest. So, I would rather actually not, sadly, waste it because if I can use it to tree to bleed, that would be a little more important to me. Uh, oh, did we already finish the? Uh, yep, I guess we did. So let's go ahead and uh, place this guy down somewhere doesn't really matter where you place your base. Um, I prefer my base to be on some sort of flat ground, so... Let's do it over here. I actually like the way it's doing it right here. So this is the core of your base. If you hit P, there's information here. You can change things, you can power it up, home. Uh, I think there's even ways to make it so your faction can use it. Uh, oh yeah, private, public, or SL. So here you go. There's even statistics on it. Whoa, this is so cool. There's life support, oxygen stations, medical stations, clone chambers, cargo, ammo boxes, fuel tanks, oxygen tanks. I don't know if you can actually get oxygen while like being inside of it. If Unless that's something new before you actually had to physically go and get oxygen. I don't think there was a way to just breathe in the oxygen, but that might have changed. So now it has a whole list of things it wants us to do. Place a generator, place a fuel tank, place a large constructor, and activ activate the base. So generator, fuel tank, construction constructor. So let's check out what a generator is going to use for parts here. It's probably going to be quite expensive, to be honest. Um, holy crap. So this is when I'm going to go quickly and open paint and dump this in here so I can easily see the components on here and then we'll go to the components and I believe later on they pr for some reason I thought they had a way of pre-building those up later on I don't know I might be crazy uh, but anyway it's metal components why am I skipping through all the parts there they are okay so metal components 12 Ooh, 12, that's a lot. So, shift click is 10, and then two more is 12. Uh, capacitor device. So this is a control device, not a capacitor device. Capacitor device. Am I blind? Capacitor. Control. Oh, here it is. So this is a capacitor right here. So it requires three electronics and three um, cables. And that will require five metal components. <laughs> I feel like they've increased the prices on a few things over time. So metal components. Okay, so shift click again for 10. And let's just click this. Actually, no, we can't. Oh, damn it. It's going to. Uh, anyways, three cables. One, two, I'll just do three anyways. And then, so there's your three cables. And, uh, what else do you need? Three electronics. So, one, two, three. Actually, it's good that we're doing this because we got to do double anyways, right? And then we can make two capacitor devices. But the thing is, 
We can't now because we can't. Actually, we can turn it off. Cancel it. Turn it on. There you go. I just wanted the buffer to keep going. So that should work, hopefully. And we want two of those. Just double checking. Yeah, two of them. Then we're going to need one reactor control. So we're going to need one motor. Oh, boy. So we're going to need three cables for that. Um, one electronics. Uh... One, two, three, I guess. Cables and two metal components. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just make more. Okay. And that'll make us the one motor. And three pipes. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Metal plate, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, three cables. Uh, one, three pipes. Three cables. One, two, three. Uh, three electronics. One, two, three. And ten metal components again. One, two. Oh, frig! I did like forty. Oh well. We're definitely gonna have to hunt for more components here, and that should make us one reactor device. Now we have to make two control devices, which are these guys. We do have one, so that's nice. And I guess I could put these guys in here too for later usage. Okay, so one more control device. Uh, Cobalt. Oh, it's a it's a beginner item, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, three electronics. One, two, three. I, I mean, we're already past our three electronics, and then two computers. Uh, what else required? One control device. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, two cables. I'm pretty sure we're full of cables. Electronics. We're probably over those two now. Metal components. Uh, we're probably over those two. So one, two of these. Oh, holy crap. So that is everything we need. Our entire queue is full, basically, to make ourselves that one small generator. And then after the small generator, we're going to need to make a small tank. Thankfully, it's completely s a lot smaller. And then a constructor, not so easy, but uh, it won't be so bad once we get into there. It sounds like we have a different sound effect, which it looks like nighttime has fallen. Okay. So let's see. How is our iron situation? Our iron? Oh, iron's not too bad. We found iron nearby, though, didn't we? That was copper. That's copper. For some reason, I thought it dinged iron. Ah, there it is. So there's f Wow, it shows you how many there is there? Oh, wow. Yeah, we don't have to worry about running out of resources. Okay. So we have to find a way to get over here. Please be before the mountain. I think it's after the mountain. You know what? It's probably bad that we're going at night, but eh, let's do it. We do have a small flashlight. And I just reloaded like an idiot. And it forces reload, so I lost like a bunch of ammo. Yep, it's on the other side of the mountain. Oh. I don't think they like you kind of scaling up mountains with ease. Iron deposit seems like it's on a mountain, yeah. Well, we found some magnesium, so that's good. Magnesium is used for uh, ammunition and stuff, so that'll come in handy later on. Ooh, what a beautiful sight we're going to get on this mountain. We're going to see a sunset and a beautiful view. Shoot. Minigun drone. I cannot take another one of those on. So we'll run towards it.
What can I do? There isn't much I can do, but fight it. At least with this, I'll get 10 bolts on this. That might help for the longer range. A mini gun drone. It doesn't even say mini. Oh, I get mini drone, mini gun. I'm like, it doesn't even say mini drone. Oh crap, that's magnesium. Iron's right here. Maybe we don't have to go so far and be an idiot and die. There we go. Looks like we found the iron. I'm sure iron will be one of our most used resources. The run drone is getting a little close for comfort. We're technically still out of our radar loop thingy, so I think we're safe. I do a bit more. Our stuff's probably done constructing or getting close to it by the time we get there. There you go. I think we we can call that a day. Can we get our butts out of here? Yep. So you can look on the map to see where we're going, of course. But uh, once we get close enough, wait, wait, wait. Were we? Oh yeah, we were right. Looks funny because it doesn't match up, of course, with my minimap as much. So it's like, well, was I right? Was I wrong? Let's turn off jetpack mode here and we'll sprint our ass back for a bit. There you go, LS space. Okay, this is going to be crazy and deadly, but... Oh, crap, that almost killed us. We lived somehow. My goodness, that, uh, that was, uh, that almost got us really badly. Let's sprint a bunch away. We could use this as a bit of a light. Not much, but it helps a bit. I don't think creatures are aggressive at night. I hope not. Don't want to have to put one in the... Between the eyes! Except that guy doesn't have a between the eyes. I don't know how that works out. Let's make it over here. Uh, uh, uh. And landed. Okay. I'm <laughs> not even finished yet. 154 iron. Nice. And we have 100 and 278 bars left. How many bars does that give us? 
That gives us five iron ore per ten. So we got basically 300 bars. So that, that's not bad. I mean, if you think about all the things that we've been building here. Okay, um, what about light here? We got a few things. We got a flashlight. And we do have a little light thing here as well. Not the best lights though, sadly. Yeah. Feels homey, doesn't it? Let's create, um... Let's see, a neat metal plates, huh? I could do with some of those anyways, and then... Just some blocks to build with. Kinda creepy without all the lights, huh? Yeah, now it's making the blocks. That way we can expand the base a bit. Plus we need to anyways if we're going to place things like generators. There you go. It's weird how this thing crafts. It's like I, I have no clue what's going on half the time with it. One, two. Can we do that? I guess we could do that. Makes it a little nicer, I think. Ish. You can actually. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. You can go like this. So you see, I dragged it and placed multiple blocks at once. Don't tell anyone. That's considered cheating. There you go. Nice. So there you go. We got a bit of a, a little base there. Platform for it at least. So let's go ahead and make... Oh yeah, there's the, was that the biofuel? Oh yeah, biofuel. Seaweed. Ha! Huh. So I guess you have a reason to go fish. Uh, here's the small generator now. That'll be helpful. We can actually make, uh, not right away probably. Actually, I don't know about that. Clone chamber. No, that's where you spawn, I believe. Um, what about a medical chamber of some sort? Medical station. That's actually considered a little expensive. You have to be level 10 or higher for that. Respawns, uh, restores their health and respawns them. What about this other one? What does this one do then? Sets a spawn point, huh? Okay. Nice. Small fuel tank. Got enough for it. Beautiful. And there is our small generator. Now you probably, I mean it's up to you, I'm not going to tell you how to do it, force you to do it at least, but you're probably going to want to keep away your, um, your, your vital components away from a fuel tank. I have a feeling, and I forget now, but for some reason I think they made it so they go kaboom on you. Not 100% sure though, but... Uh, it's up to you if you like to uh, figure that out the hard way or the easy way. I think eventually they'll blow up no matter what. Okay, what else do we have to do outside of these guys? Uh, fuel tank, constructor. 
That drone is stupidly close to us. And it's in my bubble now. There is no way I'm getting out of this, am I? Damn it. Wait, maybe he's he doesn't see me. He's going to actually fly right by. He's leaving. Or he's turning around. No, he's still leaving. It's just kind of like swaying back and forth while leaving. Whew, we're lucky. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, so large constructor is the next thing, right? So, how do we want to do a large constructor here? Two computers, well, let's just take a picture here. We're famous for pictures, oops. Not going to the right screen here for that. Picture taking, there you go, and back in game. Okay, so two computers. Cables, really? You think we would have had uh, lots of cables by now? So cables, so uh, electronics, and then um, metal components, I guess. I feel like we have too many metal components. Oh yeah, we have too many metal components. And one control device. So there's two computers and two control devices were good. Electronics, one, two, three, four, five. Metal components, ten. Cables, one, two, three, four. Motors, two. Oh, more cables, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, two. Electronics, metal components, okay, so motors. One, two, and then more pipes. One, two, three, four, five. And that, I believe, should set us to the large constructor. Okay, let's see what we can do here with this stuff now. Holy crap, that thing is huge. <laughs> Oh boy. We're definitely going to have to uh, protect some of this over time. Get in the wall or something. Okay, so we made more of those blocks, right? Where the heck did I put them all? Here they are. Remember what I said about that whole helmet thing? It gets annoying. Yeah, now you see what happens. There you go. And then put power in here and hit P. I think you can hit Y. There you go. Awesome. Sounds cool too. So you can see the max output is one megawatt, which is, if I remember, it's like one megawatt. It's like the equivalent of like, like a thousand homes or something. So that's a, that's quite a lot of power. Uh, it's using five point zero zero kilowatt. Seems like a lot of power for. Nothing. <laughs> so power left, 59 minutes, I guess? Or is that 50 
nine hours. It looks like 50, 59 hours actually. Wow. What about things like lights? What are they going to cost us over time? Actually, the truth is I, don't, I shouldn't even be worrying about the lights. We're going to need a lot more construction blocks. Or steel blocks. Oh, cement. Cool. It's like a big bag of cement. What? Warning, drones are on their way to attack your base. Warning, you are not ready. You will die. You'll lose everything. It is going to happen, though. I'm assuming I don't even get much time to prepare, huh? I don't want to be that guy, but... Uh, we're turning off the base. <laughs> gonna be that guy and turn off the base so we don't even know when they're coming I guess like we have no idea where when how they're just coming But shouldn't this meat have already expired? I'm clearly no meat expert, so how would I would know? I'm hoping they actually take like five minutes, ten minutes, something stupid. If I can get enough ammo, maybe I'll be fine. But I have no way to heal myself, not yet anyways. I don't think it would matter anyways because we can't make med kits. We could make bandages, but I haven't found fiber or the aloe vera. That's funny. You'd think the fiber would be like one of the easier things to find too. Like you think this is fiber. No, that's sugar cane. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, they haven't come. <laughs> I feel like by now the reason they're not coming is because oh watch this because I actually turn off the power there's no signature so they can't come to your base that's like the real thing you just turn off your power you're fine but I mean it does screw you over there's a lot of wolves in these areas I can't wait to hunt them down and take their pelt even though I don't think there's things like that in the game yet, unfortunately. Uh, body armor, not active yet. Uh, uh, leg armor, not active yet. Boots, not active yet. Ox O2 tank slot, not active yet. Everything has not active yet, but for some reason I thought some of these did. I guess not. So they're for the future. They're definitely planning to add some armors and different things that you can gather. Yeah, I have a feeling that we're perfectly fine right now. So are we going to build our large constructor then? Or guess we can. Oh my god. I guess they weren't joking when they said large constructor. I need like a million more platform pieces for this. Uh, let's see here. A few more anyways. Oh, is my helmet still on? Yep.
Actually, do we have enough to put a little further out? Safe than sorry. Yeah, two more. That's perfect, actually. And there comes the drones. Oh, it's just a regular one, I think. Okay, I want to put this down so we complete this little mission for today. There we go. So we still have stage uh, two we have to do. There's uh, there's a couple more stages, but uh, we got the first stage done. Add O2 and food processing, and then you got gardening. That's kind of cool. Nice. Okay, well, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we will see you wonderful people next time. Oh, and don't forget to check the links in the description.